all is mind, but the mind is not the all. Peace, my fellow expressions of consciousness. So I'm here in Hyde Park, Speaker's Corner in London. Every week there are mental battles over whose faith is correct, which government is corrupt, who needs to receive what benefits, who is the evil of the world, who is good, what is the right way to live, etc. All of these debates that go on and on and fuel people's emotions in a negative, frustrated, angry way. The answer to all of them is simply what I speak to you about. What is self? Always comes down to what is self? What is this I that is apparently committing so many sins that apparently need saving from sin or that apparently will die and then be resurrected on a judgment day who are these people that are controlling you that you call government who is the you what is the essence of all these people around you have you stopped to ask what is your essence Of course not. <laughs> it's not normal language, normal conversation. But it's only when we understand that we share the same essence, which is the formless knower of all experiences, that we will be able to live in unity because we are one. No, not the thoughts. Thoughts are different. Forms, body forms are different, but the essence of what we call reality is shared by all of us. It's that formless, you could call it awareness, that cannot be touched, that is not suffering. It does not share the limits, the destination that the body does. The body has been conditioned to believe it is running to time but there is no time for the formless you that is aware of the body that experiences the body that which is experiencing the body cannot be the body it has to be something that can have the whole picture that is the formless true eye of consciousness or you could call it source or you could call it God but nobody wants to question who is this I? What are we? Not what does this book mean? The world that we call objective is actually completely subjective. If we perceive it through thoughts. For all thoughts have their own belief systems attached to them. But that which the thoughts are known to is no belief system. It is your true nature. A word, including these words, are completely subjective. I could say the word the and it will mean nothing to most of the world that don't know English. What is a letter? A symbol. What is that which is giving meaning to the symbol? Thought. But is the thought you? Are you just a thought? The essence of you? Are you just a thought? You're going to listen to a thought? You see, the world is God's playground. And you are that. Experiencing the world, are you not? So how are you separate from that which you call God? I don't go around approaching people with this because I know it can really unsettle people and it has done when I have spoken to some people who approach me about what I believe in which is nothing I just know what I know anyway I don't approach everybody because I know it can really trigger <laughs> I 
and um, I wish not to unsettle people but if you ask me you're gonna get the truth the fiery sword of non jawed advaita truth that I always tell the person to look within their own experience as I always tell you look within your own experience see if what I say makes no sense see if the essence of the world is not the essence of that which you are see if all people are one let's really see see if all there is to experiences knowing all you are is a knowingness you just know you know a sensation has arisen you know a thought comes and goes you know if you're sleeping you know if you're not you know if you're happy you know if you're sad that knowing doesn't touch the world it is just aware of the world and all of its comings and goings of emotions and thoughts and perceptions a message to all of you at speakers corner I say with complete love just stop for a second don't have to meditate <laughs> no just stop for a second and ask what is I God says I the devil says I and you say I so what is I in whichever language you say I in it means the same thing so what is this I what is it aware of the I because that must be you so what are you can you be seen can the perceiver of the I thought be seen can it be known objectively no it cannot but you must be it really look at this there you will find peace and if you all understand this we will have world peace peace if you like the video please like the video subscribe share and have a wonderful day or evening I'm going to get back to the park. Speaker's corner. Peace.